I just got home from work. It's coming up on six o'clock. I mean, I got home and I like took the dog out and I changed and uh, uh, put laundry on, <laughs> but <laughs> pretty much just got home from work. So um, I'm just going to have a post-work snack and then I'm gonna go get started on the video. So all I'm gonna be doing this evening is video stuff. Uh, I've got to film and edit the whole thing tonight. So originally, I was gonna do um, my top 10 favorite art supplies, which I'm still gonna do, I'm still gonna do the video. But I was gonna do it like a like a talking video, you know? Um, like I was just gonna sit there and be like, hi, hey guys, welcome back to my channel, my name is Alice, my go by Alice here on YouTube, these are my top favorite, 10 favorite art supplies, I'd be like, this is my favorite sketchbook, blah, blah, blah. Um, and that's what I was gonna do, but then I realized that I broke my studio light, right? So it's just gonna be really harsh lighting and all this and that, and I kind of just wanted to do something a little bit more creative and more interesting to watch. So I came up with this idea at work and I'm so excited about it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull it all off tonight. I'm giving myself until 2 a.m. is when I'm hoping I can be done by. I'm hoping to start at 6.30. I'm just gonna paint my nails real quick because they all had really old polish on them and um, it was like super chipped and gross. I would just take polish off, but I feel I can just put on a real light polish quick coat polish and it'd be cool for the polish to match the video. So anyway, let me tell you guys about the way I want to do this video. So it's my top 10 favorite art supplies. And when I was like thinking about how I was going to do the video originally, I was like, well, I kind of want to like demonst demonstrate them somehow. You know what I mean? I like thought that would be cool, but I wasn't really sure the best way to do it. Like if I wanted to do a painting and I was like, oh, but the whole reason you weren't going to do a painting was like, cause it was going to take some time, like too much time. So, I mean, that's out the window. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a speed paint, uh, like a really, really simple one. Um, with the supplies okay but I'm also going to kind of film some like uh, if you guys have seen my um, what's in my travel art bag video there's lots of like kind of almost stop motiony kind of effects um, so I'm gonna do kind of some stuff like that where like the like the th object will like rotate by itself um, and I'm also gonna kind of do some stuff where it um, like close-ups of it like like film some shots like close so I can do like a close up of like the paint going on the paper you know what I mean but like separate from the speed paint and the way I'm going to incorporate it all is it's going to be, be split screen um, and it's going to like the split screen is going to change throughout the video so there'll always be one main screen showing the speed paint and then as I talk there'll be multiple split screens coming in and out like so I'm thinking like slashes and like triangles you know not just squares not just like split down the center but like you know like there could be hey, this is cool because I can see myself on the thing so like the two spaces like where I am that would be the speed paint and then over here this would be like um the paint like uh being painted and then over here would be the paint being painted like the same clip but like flipped around you know so it's coming from the opposite direction um so uh and that's all so that's how i'm gonna do it and then i decided i wanted to kind of be inspired i was kind of inspired by like these retro vintage split screens and so i kind of wanted to get that feel and i started thinking about like colors and stuff like that and i decided that i kind of wanted to be inspired by wes anderson so i'm gonna incorporate um and i'm gonna do it with the speed painting as well i'm gonna try to do everything like um, like kind of like a millennially retro pink and then like uh, uh, blue like like minty blue and like um, sage green kind of with white so I kind of want it all to have the same color palette and then I'm actually gonna color grade the footage so that it kind of looks a little bit like a Wes not it's not gonna look like crazy like a Wes Anderson film but like because um, I don't really know how to do that but I just kind of have this like pastel kind of vintagey retro image in my head um and yeah and then i was also thinking like um i originally wanted to do like these little like stop motion kind of thing i was gonna get like these um stickers i have um and i was going to animate them uh like i was gonna do kind of stop motion with them on my desk at the beginning of the video and it was gonna say my top 10 art supplies is kind of like an intro and it was also going to like while i talk the intro and it was also going to do like kind of the names of the products and stuff like that um, and I'm still gonna do that idea, but I'm actually gonna do it with just animation like in After Effects instead of doing the stop-motion thing because one I think it'll save me more time Two I can have it like be the right colors I can I can have it be that pink and like the the green and the seafoam and stuff like that 
um, 3, I can make it look really cool. Like if I use kind of some 3D layers, I can add in a shadow and stuff like that. This is going to take all night to render, by the way. And if my computer crashes during it, then the video will be late. <laughs> um, I might render it in parts. But anyway, uh, it'll just be a lot faster to execute, you know what I mean? Um, and also I won't have to worry about not having enough letters. <laughs> So yeah, I'm way excited about this, like way excited about this, that I have no idea how much time it's gonna take. So I planned out the painting that I wanna do, cause I would say I want the painting to have the same kind of feel, um, like kind of, you know, inspired by Wes Anderson and I wanna be able to kind of use some like surreal colors in it a little bit, like have it very stylized. So I planned out the painting I wanna do and I took a couple reference photos um, and I'm gonna try to keep it real simple just because like I have to remember the point of this video isn't the painting it's the art supplies so I'm gonna try really hard to keep it real nice and simple and I think uh, a simple style will work best with this so I'm hoping that I won't spend more than two hours max uh, actually I'd really like to not spend more than an hour on the speed painting and, hour, and an hour filming the other stuff I'd like to be done with filming in about two hours because I know editing is going to take me like you know minimum four hours like editing is going to take me a long time because this is going to be a very editing heavy project but I am just so excited for this idea and I just think that it's really important for me to be excited about the way that I'm making videos like one of the things I've oh god this is a six minute long clip sorry one of the things that I've always wanted to do on YouTube and I've always pushed myself to do and if you've watched my channel if you've watched my vlogs you know this is I want the aesthetic of my videos to be really strong like I want it to be unique I want it to be different like you know I've been striving for that like for a really really long time on YouTube with just trying to incorporate props into my speed paints you know and um you know having the getting the new desk so I can have that marble backdrop and um uh like with my you know like with my uh what's in my art bag video i wanted that to be unique and my my studio tour like i worked really really hard on the the aesthetic of that and the filming of that and um i just for me because i'm such like i love video and i love editing and um well i like hate boring editing like just cutting things together i don't like but um like fun editing i i really enjoy so like i think just because of the kind of person i am like i want to make beautiful videos i just i don't want my videos to just be like oh that's a sped up clip of her making a painting like I want my videos themselves to be art not just the art in the video so I I'm so excited I just I I was I could not wait to get home from work to start filming this video so I guess by the time that this vlog goes up that video will already be up so you guys will know by now um, how successful I am which is weird when you guys watch this you will already know if I was successful or not and I don't oh that's weird anyway um, this is an eight minute long clip so I am going to stop talking um, finish up with my nails eat my snack and then got started hey guys so it's just coming up on 11.30, I only just finished filming, which is so frustrating. It took so much longer than I wanted it to. I wanted to be done filming by 9, um, so I'm two hours behind schedule. I wanted to go to bed at 2 a.m. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to get this edited and do the voiceover and do everything by 2 a.m. Um, I have to wake up at 6 tomorrow. Yeah, uh, so I have to take the dog to my mom's house before work. I need to be at work by 8 so that I can leave early to go to Molly's wedding. At this point, I'm like sort of just considering pulling an all-nighter and just sleeping on the way up. We don't have any plans once we get up there, so... And I'm not driving. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, that might happen. <laughs> if it's 4 a.m. and I'm still awake, I'm not going to bed. <laughs> um... So anyway, I'm going to transfer the clips over and then I'm going to make, uh, I think I'm going to order a pizza. I'm going to see what time Domino's closes um, and I think I'm just going to order pizza because I'm so hungry and I just don't care. Hey guys, so I am admitting defeat. It is 4.30 in the morning. I am less than, uh, just about halfway done with editing this video. Um... Like, at this point, like, I have to wake up in an hour and a half 
I have to be at work in three and a half hours. Um, and honestly, this video is going to take, like, it, 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 even if the video was finished right now, it wouldn't be exported in time. Like, it, it's just, it, there's just no way. I, I thought it was going to take, like, I knew it was going to take a while, but I thought if I started at 6.30, that, you know, 6.30 to uh, 2 was, like, Let's see, seven and a half hours, something like that, seven, eight hours. I thought that would be enough time, but um, clearly it wasn't because I've been working on this for 10 hours and I'm half, I'm not done with it yet. It is looking really cool and I do want to finish it, but it's just, it's not going to be done for tomorrow, which means there is not going to be a video going up. Um, tomorrow. It's just not happening. So, it, what I could do is, like, I just don't, like, if I can finish it in Steamboat tomorrow, then I will, but, and, and like, release it on Saturday or something, but I don't think that's gonna happen, like, um, I don't really see myself, <sighs> I, the, my best option at this point is to skip this week and have it be released next Friday, which kind of sucks because um, I think it's not good for the algorithm if you like skip a week. Um, I think that's bad. And um, with my workstation tour doing decently well, I really wanted to capitalize on that, but it's just not happening. It, it's just it's there's just literally not enough time. Um, Originally, when I came up with, like, the plan for to film this video, like, before I came up with, like, the way I wanted to film it, it was going to be a really quick and easy video to film and edit, which is why I left myself one night. Um, but then I just kind of realized I couldn't do my face, and I kind of came up with this idea, which I am really still excited about, but there's just no way, like... It's just not going to happen. I need to go to bed. I'm so tired. Like, I am so tired. Um, I tried my best. <sighs> I really hate not getting stuff done. Like, I just, I have such an issue with perfectionism. I just, I want everything to be as good as it can be. Like, um... So it's really hard for me to admit defeat, but I am going to admit defeat. So thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Bye vlog.